All right, let's talk symmetry and alignment. Now, uh, aside from weird axes like this that are, you know, obviously off-center, I mean, the whole geometry of this is, is shifted this way, um, everything else pretty much with axes is supposed to be symmetrical. That means that there really is like a correct alignment of an axe, that um, almost any axe you can say it should ideally be this way. So let's look at some diagrams just to drive that point home. Now, obviously my diagrams are crappy, so these are not symmetrical, but imagine a, a perfect vertical, theoretical vertical line. Um, each side of this should be an exact mirror opposite of the other side. This is looking from the front, same thing. This line should be perfectly straight. It should be equal, equidistant from here to here, the same mass on each side, etc. Say a double bit axe, you're going to have a theoretical perfect center line where everything's the same from here to this edge, here to this edge, this corner to this part, this corner to this part. Now it's unreasonable to expect, you know, just axes that you buy to be perfect. That's just a theoretical ideal. But it would be nice if they're, you know, so if you, you can't really tell that there's much deviation by looking at it and once you have it on a symmetrical handle. Unfortunately, due to the nature of manufacture and economics and all kinds of stuff, it's very common to have defects in this realm. So we're just going to go through all of those things and those different asymmetries and uh, what to look for. One very common problem is that the eye is not in perfect alignment this way. So in other words, say this eye is an oval like this. Well, in this case, that oval is shifted to one side. Just to exaggerate it, it's like if the eye is supposed to be like this, it's actually like that. Now that's a problem. Imagine if I took a perfectly symmetrical handle, which all should, also should be perfectly symmetrical unless it's like an offset handle like this, and I drive this on, what's going to happen? It's going to, you know, we're going to have a, a center line of the handle that's perfect this way, but as the, as the head goes on, it's going to tilt to the side and it's going to be mounted like that. Now that's a problem because the edge is not in the center line of the handle. So what are you going to do when you use that axe? You're going to have to like, you know, twist it and kind of go like this. So can you fix that? Well, yeah, you could carve the eye portion of the handle slightly askew to compensate, or you could mount it and then you could carve, recarve the rest of the handle if it's thick enough around this vertical. So then you're going to set your axe up vertical and you're going to say, okay, well, I'm going to shift this handle by carving it and changing it to get that center line back. Obviously, it's a hassle. And that's the problem with all of these problems is they're hard problems that you have, meaning hard is, as in they're fixed. And every time you mount that axe on a handle forevermore, it's going to be a problem. So another common problem is that the walls of the eye here and here are not the same uniformly thick. So ideally you want to look at the top of the axe and you want this thickness and this thickness to be the same and look at the bottom and they should be the same there too. In this case, these are relatively the same, but this one is thinner than this one. So you can have either that where you know, on one end, say the bottom or the top of the eye, one wall is thinner and it kind of shifts over like this. Or you can have one where both the entire wall of the eye on one side, top and bo top to bottom, is thinner than the other one. So obviously those are going to have different effects too. So let's see. Here's an example here. So if I pick this axe up, which you should always do this when you pick an axe with a handle up, almost the first thing you should do is this. So I'm looking down this and the bit is skewed this way like it's set this way instead of in a straight line. So if I think about that, what's that going to mean? That's going to mean that if it's due to the thickness of the eye walls being different, then that means this side's going to be thinner and this one's thicker. So as it goes on, it shifts the, the head this way. And that's exactly the case. This side is quite a bit, you know, visually thinner than this side. If the entire eye is thinner on one side than the other, then you're going to end up with an axe that's basically mounted off to the side of a handle, and you're going to have the, the, um, the blade will be in a straight line parallel with the handle, but it's set off to one side. So can you fix that problem? Yes, it's easier to fix the one where it's just shifted off to one side, but it's, it may work or it may not. It just depends on how bad it is to you. This is a very, very common problem. And it's not always a deal killer, but again, you're going to mess with it every time you mount the axe or, or, and or you're going to end up with a crooked axe anyway.
So whether you would buy an axe like that or not, you know, is up to you. If I see one that I want to play with or that I could give away for, you know, and it's like five bucks or less, then I might have it. I mean, I have numerous ones here just because it's so, it's such a common problem. But typically I'm going to avoid that problem. So one more asymmetry that you can have is that the eye may not go straight through. Like on this double bit axe, I was hafting this up and I was it has that problem where this is much thinner than this and so I was trying to compensate for that and I'm getting all caught up in that which is easy to do it takes a lot of concentration and fiddling around to half the axe and then at some point it was most of the way on and I'm like oh I gotta check the hang I check the hang and it's totally off whacked out and that's because this eye is not straight through it's it goes like this so when I put the handle on the handle comes out like this way and that also again you know pretty difficult to fix that problem and I will probably just never you know half this thing up because it's radically different and that's going to take a bunch of screwing around you know, I'm going to have to have a handle that comes out like this and then suddenly the eye portion has to make a, a bend or a turn to compensate and it is it's significant it's I think it was over an eighth of an inch difference between here and here so that handle by the time you know if it comes out that crooked by the time it's over here you know it's pretty far off that's a really hard one to to really even notice or look at like if I pick this up and look at it casually I'm not it's not going to jump out at me I would have to like sit there and actually measure the thing ahead of time to make sure now the problem of having the axe head aligned with the handle is rarely discussed and it, it doesn't seem to be of much concern to most people the bit should be in alignment directly in alignment with the handle down that makes sense doesn't it if you think about it think about the series of cuts you make in a in a log and the fact that you're doing all that by feel right like you're doing it by feel over and over again you're not looking at the bit and making sure it goes in the right spot you can feel the handle because it's an oval and you swing it and you're you're feeling that whole thing out by judging the position of the handle in your hands by this this like line right here so if the thing's off of that, like if it's off to one side or if it's crooked, that's kind of a problem. Also, if you make a series of cuts in a line with an axe that's crooked, if it's straight, they're going to line up perfectly. And if they're crooked, they're going to be off a little bit with every cut. It's very, very possible to do tons of good work with a crooked axe, you know, that's kicked off to the side or something like that. But it's not preferable. And if you're shopping for axes, if you're buying a new axe, if at all possible, get one that's as symmetrical as possible. So that covers the eye, but the bit can be wonky completely independent of the eye. So if you were to take an axe and just chop it off at this point and say, you know, how symmetrical is this? That's kind of what we've mostly looked at so far. But the bit can be whacked out too, and it's very, very common. So for instance, this axe, everything's cool up to right about here and then suddenly the bit just is just twisted like that. If it's a double bit axe, you may end up with, um, you know, one bit is straight in line with the eye, but the other one is not. It's bent off to the side. Very, very common to find these kind of problems. This is another axe. So this axe, this axe has three problems. Uh, first of all, there's a difference in the thickness of the, you know, eye walls, so that makes the thing want to mount to the side a little bit. The eye is out of oval and the bit's crooked. So if I look real carefully in sight down here, um, the top of the bit's okay, but the bottom of the bit curves way off to the side uh, significantly. And again, remember, once it's wonky, it's always wonky, and you're going to have to deal with it over and over. Uh, some of these things you could do hard fixes to, but most of them, like I'm not going to straighten this out unless I reheat it, um, you know, reforge it, get it all aligned where I want it, and then retemper it. With the eye, you know, theoretically I could maybe file the inside of the eye out to even it out. It might be worth it if I had only one axe or something, but obviously I don't want to mess with that when there's lots of axe heads that I can, uh, you know, take advantage of. All right, next we'll move on to handles, and then we're going to talk about what to do about all this and what your options are for getting an axe in your hands that's decent.